inside. But what I was getting to is this last page on the bottom of the box. Everything else is 1914, whatnot. This one is dated 1941. So this is like 25 years later. Yeah, 25, 26 years later. And it describes uh, during World War II now. So if all that other stuff was World War I. This is pushing World War II or almost World War II. Uh, and it describes how these soldiers came across this woman in the desert, you know, kneeling. And um, she seemed to understand English, if, if you read all this. And, uh, but her eyes were all milky and uh, how do they describe them? Um, uh, inspecting from a few yards away, they identified what appeared to be a European woman kneeling with her head down as she tugged her very long unkempt hair hanging in front of her face. The woman appeared to be in her early 20s. She seemed to recognize our inquiries in English, but she remained mute throughout the interaction as if in a state of catatonia. Her eyes appeared milky and cataracted. Her clothing was in complete tatters and seemed antique in nature and also carried no identification. I'm thinking this is Emma Tilly. 25 years later after being trapped in that temple below which apparently has this magical water supply which keeps people from aging uh, and they just found her in the in the desert uh, so this is interesting to find that that uh, she Emma Tilly probably made it lived through it and um, I think I'm trying to find the entrance again I'm not sure why maybe uh Maybe so I can find Emma and we can go back in and get some gold. Maybe pay some bills. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now. I'm going to, if I find the patients, I will try to scan that giant map uh, to find those little squiggly uh, mazes to match them up. But quite honestly, that's, that's not my bag. But uh, I will do it if I have to. Maybe I can talk one of the girls into doing it too. And this chunk here in her, uh, in her journal, she describes being down in the temple the first time she got in there with this Fred and Sylvia, the Americans, and, uh, and Fred um, being the greedy American that he is, uh, as they were leaving the temple, he just needed to take something with him, even though they were planning on coming back and looting the whole place. So he's, he's yanking on this... Uh, this stone and, and it breaks off in his hand and I believe this is what broke off in his hand and he he carried it out and uh, also in the journal there's there they describe uh, there's a, a scene that's very prominent in the culture of the civilization where the woman who started the civilization here um, this is the world that was pulling pulling on her hair is uh, depicted in a in a drawing with the god of Ra and the God of Set, which should appear over here. But I don't think I'm going to get the other half of this because Fred only broke off half of it. But I think that's what this is. But there's got to be more to this, right? There's got to be more. There's some symbols, symbols here I haven't figured out yet. I can probably find a translation for these, though. But uh, what's interesting also is that... Listen... There's a hollow space like right here and there. And why, if you're just creating this for a game, wouldn't you just make it solid? Why wouldn't you just pour a bunch of junk into a press and squeeze it out? Why would, why would you make it hollow? So I don't know the answer to that. It's hollow there. The base also is inexplicably thicker and quite a bit heavier on the bottom. Um, I don't know if that's just the, to allow it to stand up, but they also obviously they provided a, a little stand for it, or if uh, if this is going to be something. Uh, I don't want to bust it open and, and find out that it was just hollow because I'm just wrecking stuff. And the other thing is too is so far I haven't done anything to this to preclude me from wrapping it all back up just the way I found it and sending it to somebody else and, and, and providing them a mystery just as has been provided to me, right? I mean, this could be kind of like a chain letter of escape room uh, fun, um, at least until I smash this to get the little blue stone out, whatever's in there. Um, 
but I could actually even make another one of those probably. But I think it'd be kind of fun to do this. Maybe it's going to be like a chain letter because I haven't I haven't wrecked anything yet. I haven't had to mark anything up or destroy anything. I did open the envelope. That's true, but um, it didn't uh, it didn't even register with me when I found that it was a the letter was closed that that was significant in any way. Um, so anyway. There you go. Fun, fun, fun. We'll see what happens next, eh?